psycho? <laughs> oh, you'll pay dearly for that! They are more synchronized this time. We must respond in kind. Now's my chance to... What? <laughs> Shit! Get down! <laughs> when did you arrive? Not a moment too soon, it would seem. Is everyone all right? Ren? <laughs> Hell of an entrance. <laughs> well, here's a big player I didn't expect. Last I'd heard, you retired. So what brings the society of Ouroboros's former Enforcer Number 15 here? What? An Enforcer? Like the Dire Wolf? I'll thank you very kindly not to bring up a lady's buried past before an audience, Overseer. I didn't want to turn up uninvited, but you didn't leave me much choice. Not when you've opted to deploy such an underhanded trick where my friends were headed. That outline looks eerily like a... <sighs> Should've known. Wait, robot! It, it's an assault frame! So this is where all those missing parts ended up. And it put the Genesis in its chest, too. Why can't you just be silent and leave me to my work? Uh, that sounds like... Couldn't be... Professor Callahan? I am so close. So close to perfecting the divine formula I seek. Stop with your incessant meddling! <gasps> Crap. So he's inside that thing now? I'll keep these two out of your way. You focus on the assault frame. Have it your way. Well, lucky us. I'm sure you'll be a real ball. Ren! She'll be fine. We need to focus on the job at hand. Cutting edge as this thing is, looks like they were sloppy in putting it together. Focus on the back of the joints. We gotta force it to the ground so we can get the Genesis out. Right! This would be eliminated! Displaying enemy stats. Going on. This rising drive. for that. Time for the main event! Here go! 
Activating skill. You've got this, Agnes! Fault in your court! How do you like us now? That was quite the performance. <laughs> no, it looks like we're only just getting started. Drawing energy directly out of the septium veins. Yes! Damn it! Get back, kiddos! I will complete my formula, and there is no one who can hope to stop me. What? Mayor! 
Ha! <laughs> there you are. Come on, hop to it. Let's go! I can't believe you. W what is this space? And that hollow is... Not another peculiar catalyst. Well, I guess it's not a big deal. Will you bear the nightmare, or... Like I'm gonna say no. <laughs> At least let me finish my line! Here we go. So that's it. There it is. A real sight, huh? I get a rush every time I see it. But it might have met its match with an enhanced giant robot. What? What am I seeing? Uh, is that Van? We'll explain later. Right now, he needs our support.
did it. Huh. That was incredible! <laughs> Stealing shit like a pro. No. No! What is it doing? Why did it stop? There was only 0.03% left to go! I was... I was so close! Professor Callahan. So that's what a Genesis can do, as well as his. I cannot help but feel mildly fascinated. <sighs> All that hard work up in smoke. The boss isn't going to be very happy. I hope you have a plan to make up for this. Melchior, do something, please! There is only 0.03% remaining! If it doesn't finish, all of this was for... <laughs> An unfortunate situation indeed. So, how does it feel? How does it feel to know your research, your entire life, was just rendered meaningless? <gasps> you tried so, so hard, even throwing away your humanity, but an Incomplete work is nothing but worthless garbage. So how does it feel? Tell me, tell me, tell me! It's too bad. He would have been much harder to break, but maybe I should have turned my charms on Professor Cronkite instead. You have wasted enough time mocking him, Melchior. The police embracers are almost here. It is about time we left. Oh, true. I suppose we should. Target sighted! What the... Just what happened here? Au revoir. We will be taking our leave now. But we will have our revenge for all the time you've made us waste here. It's no good. I can't stop the system from falling apart. I can't reconnect it to the Orbal Net or another energy source either. Supporting such an advanced AI is just too heavy a burden. B but that means he'll... <sighs> I'm so sorry. The Genesis isn't reacting to anything anymore. It's not your fault, Agnes. There must be a way. I'm just not seeing it. It's fine, Salation. I'm just paying the price for my foolishness. I crossed the line that should never be crossed, and tried to realize a weapon of pure evil. I allowed myself to be led astray. I have no one to blame but myself. But... Uh, but... Uh, Professor! I am moved by how much you care for me, even after all I've done. Perhaps you are the right person to entrust with this task, after all. What task? At this rate, I will have failed as a researcher and died for nothing at all. So, please, don't let this all have been in vain. I may have failed to perfect the formula needed for fusion, but I discovered many others in the process. Oh, all these formulae. I believe them to be, as of yet, undiscovered formulae with peacetime applications. Analyze this terminal after I am gone, and you may be able to secure them. Uh, but, Professor, that... 
It's not going to be easy to make use of finds from a technological singularity. That's putting it lightly. We're talking technology humanity wouldn't have reached on its own for decades. We'll need more than one genius around to make sense of it all. I feared as much. Cronkite likely won't be able to manage the task alone. If only there were one or two more like him around. If only she were here. I wish I could tell you not to underestimate me, but I too know my limits. Your y young Cronkite, I have... I will refrain from commenting on all that transpired here. To we researchers, all that matters are results. However, you were able to catch a glimpse of something we all, at the very least, feel a small yearning for. That does have meaning. Uh, uh, yes, I suppose you're right. My time here is at an end. I leave the rest to you and the many promising youths around us. May you forever remain on the forefront of Calvert's... No, the world's. I will follow my own path, wherever it may lead me. Though I do intend to make some use of the formula you leave us. As do I. We won't let your work be in vain. What? Who's that? Oh. The professor is back. <laughs> I'm home, Theo Zeros. I'm sorry for being away for so long, Catra. Bran! If it isn't Professor Latoya Hamilton, one of Epstein's three disciples. In the flesh. I've never had the honor of seeing her in person before this. I... I am so glad we made it in time. Oh, Callahan. You damn fool. Esmeré. Giscar. And Professor Hamilton. I didn't know you were back. I hurried back to Calvert as soon as I learned what was transpiring. It saddens me deeply to have to bid farewell to a fellow researcher and associate like this. <laughs> as someone who admired and sought to surpass you, those words mean more to me than you could ever know. Rest assured that we will use what you have left us. Cronkite and I will see those formulae analyzed. We will all see to it. Esmeré, Catra, your other assistants, and the artisans of Basel as well. You did so much to further the city's development and held it so dear. Now we will use our strength to nurture yours. <sighs> I'd like to believe that ZCF can help in some way too. I see now. This is what I should have done all along. I feel like in my last moments, I've solved the most difficult formula of all. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Salesian. And thank you to all who stand with them. Now, I leave with no regrets. Farewell, Professor Callahan. May you find peace with Adios above. <laughs> so that's how the pieces have fallen. Could we have made use of nuclear weapons? What do you think? No. If anything, they are something that would put our very existence in danger. They're a forbidden weapon that renders all tactical analysis and strategy meaningless. 
that Almada has their eyes on them speaks of how much of a threat they really are. Then we're agreed. Quite the unexpected development this was. Enough to pique the society's interest as well. And now, we're to await Ms. Twining's return for the sake of our midterm goals. I will provide all the support I can in the meantime. Science claims this formula will allow for a more efficient extraction of orbital energy from septium. Experts believe that the new discovery will have a significant impact on technological development in Zemuria going forward. This revolutionary breakthrough was made possible by the late Professor Callahan as part of his last work. They really pulled it off, didn't they? Yeah, in no small part because of Ren and the rest of them. Sounds like the genius professor left Basel as soon as the work was done, though. That CEO's gonna be in for a fun time now that he's lost two of his smart asses. <laughs> maybe. But it sounds like this news has got Vern's shares shooting straight up. Professor Hamilton's back for now, too, so he can probably breathe easy for a while. I'd heard so much about her, but it was such a surprise to actually get to meet her. <laughs> She's such an amazing lady. She really is. I couldn't agree more. So you're Lilia's granddaughter. You do resemble her, not just the way you look. I can see you also possess her kindness and strong spirit. <laughs> this is one of my great-grandfather's diaries. This brings me back. I would catch him writing entries from time to time. Oh, <laughs> this here. This one is about me, Gerhard, and Albert. <laughs> I still remember that time like it was yesterday. Well, I only met him once back when I was a youngster. <laughs> it makes me nostalgic thinking back on it now. I don't mean to interrupt your reminiscing, but those words toward the end are rather ominous. I can see why it inspired you to risk so much to collect the Genesis. Yes. Else all that we know will come to an end. I can't imagine it's meant to be taken any way other than literally. Especially when you consider how the Genesis have been used so far. Yeah. The kind of shit they're capable of almost feels like a bad joke sometimes. So far, we've managed to gather five of the eight Genesis. But do you think it would be better if I left them in the hands of you and the other disciples? And yes. <laughs> no, I think there are too much for even us to handle. If they truly are experimental apparatuses that Professor Epstein somehow created to gauge the world, then, and this will sound rather unscientific of me, it's as if destiny willed them to be in your hands. I plan to stay in Calvert for a while, so I'll get in contact with Albert and Gerhard about this. Fortunately, we happen to have someone else who knows both of them right here with us. I'd be happy to serve as a mediator between all parties. We have much to discuss about the West Samuria Tech Union as well. I will also do what I can to help Reset. Is everything still in order with regards to attaching Reset's new parts, Esmeré? As in order as can be. Our prospects were already bright with her being such a capable engineer, but with you, they'll be even brighter. Me and the other uh, artisans will be happy to pitch in with any precise adjustments, too. You will see they aren't even a millerie off. Hmm? And I'll help, too, of course. I don't think we have anything to worry about with this many people on the case. Yes, it really is wonderful to see. Well, can't say I give a damn about Marduk at the end of the day. Reset's a different story, though. She's one of the team. 
So take good care of her, if you don't mind. I don't mind one bit. You said your name was Van, I believe. This may be a strange favor to ask. But I'd like you to look after my teacher's dear descendant. It would mean the world to me. And if you could please look after her young friends. But you were planning to do that even if I didn't ask, weren't you? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I'll do what I can to meet my obligation as their employer, at the very least. Van. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we save his ass way more than he saves ours. Is something wrong, Catra? It's just... Uh, I'm so happy you're back. I am. But... But I wasn't able to do a thing in your absence. I feel like such a failure. Catra... You've been sleepwalking these past few days or something? We couldn't have dreamed of dealing with this whole mess without you. You are a guide through and through. We never would have thought to go to that factory without you. And I doubt we could have gotten through to Professor Callahan either. We owe everything to your efforts and perseverance. Plus your orbal drones were a huge help! You weren't too bad for someone who still looks and thinks like a kid. So, you know, good job on this one, or whatever. Why do you always gotta be so far up your own ass? <sighs> <laughs> See now, not just anyone can be blessed with so many in their corner, you know. Thank you for all you have done in my absence. It's good to be home. I've missed you, Catra. Yeah, but not half as much as I've missed you, Gran. Way, Agnes, did you manage to finish your report on your visitation to Basel? <laughs> I most certainly did. The others in my group helped a lot too, and we ended up receiving some very positive feedback from the school. Though I'm happy Ren was willing to cover up so much for me. No, happy isn't what I should be saying, is it? The old fart's broken moral compass starting to rub off on you, huh? I I'm being careful not to go too far. I don't want to end up like Van. Hey! <laughs> oh, we're almost done with the roasted chestnuts! Ah, I look forward to these every year. Their fragrance and soft texture really hammer home that fall is here. Here you go again. Took the last of them too, you bastard. <laughs> Don't worry, we have another batch. Hello? I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, hey! A lovely day to you all. I'm here to resume work once more. Uh, reset! That's our maid. Three o'clock on the dot. <laughs> You're all good now, then? I'm the picture of health, thank you. Professor Hamilton, her students, and many others took excellent care of me. My new artificial limbs are a vast improvement over my previous ones, even. I can see I've had you all very worried. I'm so very sorry. Oh, Reset, of course we were worried. We're so glad to have you back. Welcome home, Reset. <laughs> Thank you for the warm welcome. We've got a solid chunk of work that's been piling up, including managing the pay coming in from our last job. You got time to help me out with it right now? All the time in the world. Oh, but first... Agnes and Fairy located. Theo? Whoa! The hell? Zeros? Down, Zeros. And come back here, Theo. Petra, what are you doing here? He came along to make sure everything was how it should be after all the work that was done on me. Though he has something else he wishes to discuss in addition to that. Hmm, it's a bit cramped, but there's a wired connection to the orbital network here at least. 
I should be able to work in this environment. What? Don't tell me. That's right. I'm going to be helping out around here for a while. I'll admit that Professor Hamilton may have been the one to recommend it, but the final decision was mine. All of you remarkably captured my interest during our time together. Not just because of Agnes's genesis, but because of that Grendel and Mare, too. <sighs> I suppose no one can blame you for that. I'm also concerned on a broader level. Basel doesn't appear to be the only place where criminals are misusing tech for nefarious purposes. So I think Arkwright Solutions is going to need its own technical advisor, don't you? <laughs> That's, um, actually a good point. A very good point. While I am well versed in modern technology, my field is software, not hardware. Those black and silver thingies would be good backup in a fight too. What's it gonna be, Chief? Screw it. What's one more at this point? I'll introduce you to our landlords later. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking forward to working here. Oh, but... Reset? Katra? You've got to try the roasted chestnuts. They're super soft and sweet. I'll go and make some more coffee for us, too. served me well in Basel. We could have had quite the crisis on our hands if events had been allowed to play out as our foes wanted. Thank you, sir. Though I believe most of the credit goes to our agent in the field and the Principality's representatives. I will admit that I did not anticipate you hiring Marduk to act when they did, however. They will do whatever you ask so long as the price is right. It makes them rather convenient in times like these. There are advantages to there being a neutral organization beholden to no government, even if using their services requires an objective mindset. I imagine you can see their merits as well, Professor Cronkite. I do. At least they are competent, unlike a certain superior of mine that I could name. I don't disagree. The time is long past due for Vern to appoint a new CEO. We can maintain the status quo as long as Professor Hamilton remains in the Republic. But as soon as she departs, we will indeed make the necessary arrangements. I see no issue with that timeline. Now, as we previously agreed, I think it's about time you got to work. After all, this project will bring about massive change to the Republic, to the entire world. Nothing will be the same after the Republican Army's Zeku space base is completed and in operation. <laughs> Those are impressive results. Then I'll update your rank. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> Can't complain with that. See? You get it. Catra Salesian. Together with Fio and Zeros, I'll do whatever I can to assist. <laughs> 